Hello Scorpio, uh, this is your uh, bonus mid-month reading for August 15th to the 30th. I only used three Romance Angels Oracle cards and clarified them using the Cosmic Tarot deck. Um, this is as a thank you for, although you was the last sign to go uh, in regards to the August monthly readings, you ha your reading has just shot up and the views have skyrocketed and has become one of the most... Uh, viewed videos ever in this three months since I've started my channel so as I thank you just wanted to um, reciprocate that and um, yeah and just to let you know whichever sign will be the most viewed uh, will have the most viewed video will always have a bonus reading and also the zodiac sign who's celebrating their birthday so Leo will have a bonus reading too so at the bottom of your deck you have a strength um, and some of you may be involved with a Leo uh, specifically. If that's not the case, strength means that at this time frame, you need to gather all your courage and have the courage to go for what it is that you want. Um, some of you may be very um, much into restraining your feelings or your sexual desires as well because of maybe circumstances are, are not viable to express how you feel. But this month, you you know, you are the lion, you know, you are this powerful woman who has tamed the lion so you do have uh, the tools and the courage to uh, gain what you want your intuition is guiding you correctly as well because she has this snake on her head with the sun shining you your, your intuition is guiding you into the right direction the first card we have is pay attention to red flags it says the signs are cautioning you for some of you, you may be involved with a Sagittarius uh, specifically, and there may be some type of uh, uncertainty in regards to this person. Uh, Six of Swords speaks of mentally um, undergoing a lot of turbulence and undergoing a lot of stress and anxiety in some cases, and then just deciding to once and for all to move into calmer waters, so to speak. Um, if this is not a Sagittarius, for, for most of you, that just says that you... you need to seek balance within the situation and have a lot of patience because things will happen according to divine timing um you know patience is a virtue i know in romantic uh romantic um scenarios it's very difficult to pertain patience because you know we want the person so badly sometimes but you know mentally speaking you need to move into a more uh, calmer state of mind and have patience you are trying to manifest something but first and foremost you need to heal something may have happened to you where you paid attention to the red flags and you cut somebody out of your life and now you just need to undergo healing because mentally you manage to move away from that from them or you will but allow yourself to heal in order to attract that person who will really cherish you as well we have it is safe for you to love as i said open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so if you are um, interested in somebody especially if that is a virgo then you know the cards are saying that it it all whatever uh, trouble some energies you may have gone through for some of you with a Sagittarius in particular, um you you know saying it is safe for you to love. Overall, it could be that if it's a Leo or a Sagittarius or a Virgo, uh, uh, and things are going well with this person, then don't be scared and open up more. Forget, uh, move away from whatever has hurt you in the past. Um, the hermit can have you can have Virgo in your natal chart as well so the cards are saying um, you know some of you may have been single for quite some time you have decided to withdraw and you know just just you are just happy being on your own and maybe spiritually um, you know um, spiritually exploring yourself as well you may have gone some type of uh, some type of spiritual ascension or spiritual growth as well the hermit is a card of a sage a very wise person you don't listen to other people's opinions and you know what the right is, thing is for for you deep down you don't care what other people are telling you to do and as i said you may have been single for quite some time and your family or friends may have been saying oh you need to find someone or you know this person trying to match you with somebody and you know you decided to withdraw from all of that and work on yourself and then we have soulmate uh this uh, yes this is your soulmate i would like to clarify this further but since leo was underlying energy for some of you if you feel the connection 
then the Leo may be your soulmate, a Virgo could be your soulmate, or a Sagittarius, but could be anybody. Nevertheless, we do have the Ace of Swords and the Sun, which indicates that there will be a new beginning with this person, or there will be an honest communication with this person after a long period of battle. And the Sun speaks about happiness, clarity, innocence, just gaining gaining a clarity on the situation overall. Let me just see, who's the soulmate? Who's the soulmate for Sagittarius? Who's Sagittarius' soulmate? Who's the soulmate? We have the Seven of Swords and the King of Swords. Well, the King of Swords for some of you could be a Libra. So maybe a Libra is your soulmate. But the Seven of Swords is saying that there may be some type of lying, cheating behavior surrounding this person. Maybe this person has undergone a lot of um, hurt in the past. That's why they will communicate honestly with you and things will become clear. For some of you, this Libra person may be up to no good. And you need to pay attention to the red flags relating back to this. Um, nevertheless, just uh, King of Swords can also say that you need to um, be emotionally detached and assess all the facts. If someone is doing you wrong, just don't stay with them for the sake of it. And Seven of Swords can mean that, yes, this person is actually up to no good. It could be a man, as you see, with brown hair, a moustache, uh, a beard, in fact, quite pronounced eyebrows and of dark, dark um, eyes as well. Um, they could be quite intuitive as well, or they could be like a uh, very good uh, judge of character around people. But there is some type of lies, cheating or backstabbing surrounding this person, whatever speaks to you. It could be your soulmate who's undergone quite a lot as well in the past, you know, and they will communicate their true feelings with you. They might be just a bit closed off, maybe withdrawing from you. This could say it's safe for you to love because maybe you don't feel like this person is very much interested in you. Um, because they're withdrawn and they're seeking solitude. But really, if, if it is a Libra or an air sign, Aquarius or a Gemini for some of you, um, then that's the, the true nature of how they are. They are very emotionally detached, but doesn't mean they don't feel for you. They do feel very deeply, but they, they don't like, it's just not in their nature to be overly um, expressive romantically speaking unless uh, they have uh, water in them in, as a moon sign or anywhere in the natal chart or you know what well, depends on everyone individually but that's uh, kind of the nature of uh, air signs just being more logical rather than um more overly emotional it's always logic versus emotion for some of you king of swords could be asking that you need to cut the rubbish out if someone has done you wrong uh, cheated on you, backstabbed you, lied, stolen from you. You need to cut them out of your life. Don't be scared to, to you know, tell people how you truly feel. And maybe then the soulmate when, will uh, come in into your life. But you need to honestly communicate your true feelings or cut somebody out who is no longer serving you.